what is security in power bi so whenever we hear the word security in power bi we probably talk about the security about the data security about the access that is a general terminologies that we use in power bi am i right so what we are aware is of row level security in row level security we specifically go and apply the security to a row level perspective but what if you would like to have it in a column level perspective hi i'm m asif hussain from know how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand what is meant by security what is the mean by object level security and we are even going to do it practically in power bi so by the end of this video you could able to get a very clear idea how we have to create an object level security and what external tools we have to use in power bi so watch till the end my dear viewers so here i have one particular power bi page okay so i have one data in it so in this let me go and have some visuals so that it will be easy for us to go and analyze so for this what i am going to do i am going to take the region here and i am going to mark it the count of the regions and i'll going to take another card chart and i'm going to take what is the profit i'm going to take another card chart here and i'm going to choose what is the quantity and i'm going to choose another card chart here and i'm going to see what is the sales so if we look into it we have the sales we have region we have profit and what we have it we have it is something called as quantity okay so now if we consider that i do not want to showcase this quantity so this should be hidden so in order to do that what is the what is the probable approach that we have to do so what we have to do is that we need to choose the object level security so what we generally do in the row level security this is the same thing that we go and apply it in the object level security as well so for example i am going here to modeling so under modeling what i am going to do is that i am going to manage role in the sense i am going to create a new role here so for this what i am going to do i am going to click on new role i'll just going to rename this one let us consider that i would like to hide the quantity column so quantity so quantity underscore r okay quantity role that's the name that i have given it all right so now what we do after we create a role in the role level security we go and apply the filter here am i right what we do we go and apply the filter in here so that we will go and have the role level security to whichever row we want so now as we are not focusing upon the row level but we are focusing upon the column level so that's where object level security comes into the picture so for this what i am going to do i am not going to choose any sort of filtering here directly i am going to click on save as soon as i click on save the role is successfully applied now i'll close it if i come and view here view as quantity i will not have any change because we did not apply any sort of filter here am i right so here comes a very interesting part we will use the external tools there are many external tools that we have it in the market available that you can happily download it from microsoft so there are many uh, external tools are available so i have many tools that are, uh, we will be using it out of all these we will take the help of the tabular editor we will take the help of tabular editor so i'll click on this tabular editor here so as soon as i click on this tabular editor the tabular editor page will be opened up all right as you can see this this is a tabular editor okay so this is a tabular editor so under this if you see here we have created a role quantity role as you can see that we have created the role just now which is a quantity role and there are the properties about this quantity role that you can see it here now we are not focusing about the role but now what we are focusing we are focusing upon the quantity column that we have it in our orders table so for this what i am going to do i am going to the orders table here and i am choosing the column called quantity as soon as i click the column called quantity you can see that under the properties if i come here in the drop down i have something called as object level security 
this is what which is object level security and this object level security is created for what role it is created for quantity role now you might have a question so when we do not have or we, when we are not considering any role at all then why are we creating this role if you do not create the role then we cannot able to create the OLS which is object level security so I did not create a new here when I have created a role there then that is getting applicable here in the object level security as you can see quantity role so for this we have to create the role without fail so once if I click on this it is by default it is default so now what I will do, I want to hide it. Am I right? I want to hide it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on none here. I'm going to click on none. So as soon as I click on none, now you might have a question. Okay, uh, you, we have applied none here, but there is no option called submit or apply button. No, we do not have something called as apply or submit button. What we have is that we should go to file and we need to click on save. As soon as we click on save, it is getting saved. Now if I come back to my particular Power BI desktop, here what I am going to do, under the modeling if we go, now I will go and select this quantity role as I have saved that in a tabular editor. Now what I am going to do, I am going to click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, we can see that my dear viewers, the quantity that we had earlier now it is not available it is hidden what it is it is hidden so now what is the message that it is giving let me show you the details here it is telling that something wrong with one or more field orders quantity the reason is that we have created a row level security no we have created a object level security why object row is for a row level perspective object is for a complete column okay so for example if i would like to create a row level security on a region we let us consider the south region okay so everywhere the south information that i can able to see that only south region if i create rls but it is OLS, it is object level security. So what's happening here is that we have to go and hide the particular complete column. So there is no point of showing the visual. So if I even show it to you by taking a table chart, in this table chart, if I take the columns called category, if I take how much profit and how much sales, then even if I go, if I'm going to show you, if I'm going to show you how much quantity, how much? quantity can you see this we do not have the quantity column we do not have the quantity column earlier we had the quantity column here but now we do not have the quantity column at all okay we do not have the quantity column see this we do not have the quantity column because we have hidden that particular column all right so this is possible using the tabular editor only okay this is possible using the tabular editor so my dear viewers you can go and install this tabular editor from the microsoft do not worry it's very easy and uh, it's a uh, free of installation as well so we can go and install this tabular editor so that's how we have to work on object level security in power bi so in this video we have learned what is object level security how to create object level security and what is the difference between row level security and object level security in power bi Thank you for choosing Nohub Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.